everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video for today's video we are going to be stretching decompressing from everything that's going on in the world today so go ahead grab yourself a mat get ready and let's stretch so when I stretch it's pretty random it's pretty all over the place I just kind of move my body in a way that feels good so if any of these don't feel good for you feel free to do something else I'm just gonna kind of walk you through this, talk you through this, and we're just going to chat, have a good time, and I'm just going to start out with a middle straddle, um, and we'll just kind of hang out here for a little bit. I normally come back to the middle straddle quite a few times in my stretching. I'm just going to rock back and forth, and then I'm going to come as low as I can starting out. I'm pretty cold this morning, so... You know, my legs aren't warmed up. I'm not as flexible, so we're just warming up the body to be more flexible. So go ahead and lean forward as much as you can right now, where, you know, it kind of hurts, but it's a position that you can hold for a while. And if you can, go ahead and try to move a little bit lower. straddle middle split start in the middle because we've kind of already stretched that those muscles on this half you will feel it pull on this leg you will also feel it pull here go ahead and get comfy and we will sit here for a little while. Try to keep your hips, you know, well aligned and your butt on the floor. You know, you don't want to like be leaning up like this. Um, keep them on as much as you can. I am really tight in this hip. This really helps open up this hip. If you're trying to get better at squats, hit that depth, getting good mobility for working out. Stretching is your friend. The more you do this, the better. So we're going to start ooh, on this side. I am really tight, so this is as far as I can go without it hurting right now, and that's okay. Each side of your body is different. You have different balances, so it's kind of cool to acknowledge those balances and accept it and know that you know one side might be more flexible than the other, and that's okay. Again, this is great for your hamstring.
we're gonna come up and we're gonna go back to a middle straddle. This should already feel better. You should be able to go lower into this since we've already kind of warmed up and loosed the muscles. So you can rock back and forth like this. Really whatever, whatever feels good for your body. That's why stretching is so powerful is, you know, if you just, you just kind of go with how you feel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slowly walk out. Try to go as far as we can and we're only going to hold it for five seconds. Make sure you breathe. <laughs> And walk back up. All right, go ahead. You can bring your legs together. You can bring them together like this. Kind of shake it out because that was a deep stretch. I'm already feeling calm. I forgot what's going on in the world. I'm just kind of enjoying this stretch. This has been actually like really therapeutic for me. So that's great. All right, now we're gonna move on to the little figure four. So you'll go ahead and have one leg down and the other will come across. This is great for your hips. Again, if you're trying to work on your mobility, do this. Sorry about my feet, not sorry. But go ahead and you wanna try to push as much as you can into your chest. You will feel this in your butt. go ahead and move into downward dog so you can start on all fours if you don't know how to get to downward dog and you'll just press up go ahead and pedal your feet this is helping stretch your calves this should feel great for you you can pedal as fast or as slow as you want down. We're going to push back, push our chest towards ourselves, and release. Do that two more times. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kick a leg up as high as you can, and you're going to come and bring it forward. And we're going to do this little runner stretch. Go as deep and as low as you can. We won't hold it long. If you need to have your, your hands down, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and bring it back up. And bring it down in for pigeon. So I've got this leg behind me straight. And then this leg in front of me is at an angle, if you can see that. This is amazing, one of my all-time favorite stretches. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that you are up and over your hips. This is gonna feel good on your hamstring, on your glutes. With this hip, this is a huge opener. So you can go ahead and put your chest and heart up. If you're 
If you want, you can pedal this back foot as well. If you know the mermaid bind, you can go ahead and do that, but this isn't yoga, this is just stretching. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold over on that. We're gonna go back to downward dog, kick this leg up, and then bring the other one forward. So, here we go, we're gonna kick it up. Oh, do you feel how loose that is? Bring it back down. We can pedal a little bit, shake a little bit. And now we're gonna kick the other leg up. We'll bring it in for our little runner stretch. Try to sit as low as you can. Helps open up the hip. Hold this for a little bit. If you need to put your arms down, you can and hold yourself there. Now we're gonna kick it back up and bring it forward for pigeon. Go up and down for pigeon. Now that we are in this position, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. You'll feel it in your hips, feel it in your glutes. We'll be over it. You can lift your chest and your heart up. And breathe. Once again, if you can, you can pedal this. This helps with your quad. You can go into a mermaid bind if you want. You can arch your back. Get a good back stretch. Good little back bend in there. But now we're gonna go down over our leg. Once you feel comfortable, go even deeper. And we'll go ahead and hold this. on my left side for days because I'm so much more flexible. So we're gonna go ahead though and kick back up. Woo, shake it out, go into downward dog, pedal our feet. And now we're gonna go into a left split as much as you can. We'll go ahead and kick up, come all the way through and get into split however you want. You can slowly inch out. We'll see how deep I can go. Go ahead and just however deep you can go, that's fine. We won't hold this very long. We'll just hold it for five seconds. Better than nothing. All right, and come back up. And we will do the same thing on the other side. I just like going in from downward dog. I like that little kick up. Honestly, if you don't want to do a split, you can just sit here, stretch your hamstring, do whatever. Um, you don't have to do a split if you don't want to. But you know what? If you're trying to get a split, you have to practice. You know what I mean? So, here we go. We're just holding for five seconds. All right, and we'll go ahead and come out and down from that. Woo, shake it out, shake it out. And I'm just gonna do a couple upper body stretches right now. We'll just go across and hold that. And we can bring that same arm back. And we'll do the same for the other arm.
And then we'll go ahead and bring it back across because we did a cross with the opposite arm. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and probably just wind down. We'll probably call it good there. Um, we'll go ahead and just roll our wrists out. You can go ahead and do some head circles. We can go ahead and do some body circles. So go ahead and rotate your torso toward one way. If there's any last stretches that you want to do, go ahead and do them. And then we're just going to end with corpse pose from yoga. I forget what it's called and I don't want to mispronounce it because I know there are actually yogis out there and I actually kind of like get certified. But we're going to go ahead and just lay down flat and just give yourself time to think. Think about yourself, where you are, where you want to be, maybe a goal. I like to put my one hand over my chest, one over my stomach to just feel myself breathe. So we're just going to lay here for a little bit. with me I hope you kind of got to just let loose relax learn some stretches kind of go through a flow it really wasn't about yoga flow at all but I actually really want to get certified and I would love to do yoga flows with you because I love yoga I love this I hope you did I hope this really got you feeling better about yourself and about kind of where we are in this world and you got to take a step away and just kind of enjoy it you know if you can, do this again outside. You can do this every morning. This would totally start your day if you don't want to exercise. Just incorporate this somehow into your life. I know it'll help you. Flexibility really helps with mobility in the gym. Flexible muscles are strong muscles. I'm a huge, I'm a huge advocate for making sure that we are stretching enough, getting a good warm up before every exercise. So if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And you can follow me on Instagram for more. And with that being said, thanks again so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!